Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 28 of Book 6. Now, in this proposition, we start with a straight line, AB, and we have a rectil rectilineal figure, C, and a parallelogram, D. And our purpose is to draw a parallelogram on AB minus a certain area that is equal to the area of a parallelogram that is drawn similar to D. So let's take that again. We have AB. We draw a parallelogram on it. We remove a portion of it that is equal to a parallelogram that is equivalent to D, and the remaining area is equal to the area of C. So this is what we want to do. Now, if you recall from the previous proposition, there is a limit is that the area of C must be less than this area from A to this dot right here, because as you recall, that is the largest area, and these are all smaller. So C must be less than this area from A to the red dot. So let's begin our construction. So the first thing we do is we bisect the line at uh, point E, and then we create a similar parallelogram to D on EB. So GB is similar to D. Finish the construction so that we have AG is equal to GB. Now if HE is greater than C, uh, we can continue. Otherwise, if HE is equal to C, then we're finished. So let's assume that HE is actually greater than C. So GB is also greater than C since HE was greater than C. So GB is greater than C. Now here we're stating, let KLM, KLMN be constructed such that it is equal to the area of GB minus the area of C and is similar to D and we're to use Proposition 25 of Book 6 to do this. Now, this is all that it said in the book that I'm using, but I didn't find it explained it all the steps necessary, so I'm going to sort of go outside of the reference material and explain a little more. So, hence the question marks. So the next bit is going to be how we're constructing KLMN. So again, we want to construct KLMN so that it's equal in area to GB minus C and similar to D. So let's first copy the rectil rectilineal figure C to the parallelogram at EB with the angle that's here, so GEB. So we're going to copy this area into our parallelogram. So we split our rectilineal figure into triangles and we copy this first triangle onto EB and then we copy the second tri triangle onto this line here again with the angle GEB. So now these two parallelograms together is equal to the area of C and consequently the remaining part of this parallelogram or the remainder will be equal to GB minus C. So this area here is GB minus C. So now that we have this area, we can now construct a figure similar to, to D. Yes, we need a figure that's similar to D that is equal to this area. So now KLMN is equal to this green area here, but it is also equal to GB minus C. Okay? So now that we have our KLMN constructed, we'll carry on with um, Euclid's instructions. Now KM is similar to D, and D is similar to GB, so KM 
is similar to GB. Now since KM is smaller than GB, we are going to copy the lines LM to GF and LK to GE. So we've copied those lines and we are going to now construct a parallelogram that is equal to KLMN at the point here. So now GOQP is equal to LK LMNK or GQ is equal to KM. Now since GQ is similar to GB, the um, diagonals are collinear, so we're going to draw the diagonal. What is left over, this non non, what is left over, is equal to the area of C, because if you recall, KLM or KM is equal to GB minus C, or as it's written here, KM plus C is equal to GB. So CQ is equal to KM. So therefore, what is left over, this nom nom, will be equal to C. So again, GB minus KM or CQ is equal to C. And it's just basic arithmetic. Now we're going to extend the lines from OQ to R and PQ to S. PR is equal to OS because they are complementary parallelograms along a diagonal. Now if PR is equal to OS, then PB is equal to OB because we're just adding this little parallelogram to both of them. So we have that PB is equal to OB. Now TE is equal to OB because E bisects AB. So they're, they're equal. PB is equal to OB. TE is equal to OB. So that means that PB is equal to TE. So TE is equal to PB. Well, OS plus PP is equal to the nom nom, which is equal to C. So we have that OS plus PB is equal to C. So again, this area here is equal to C. But we had TE is equal to PB. And we had OS plus PB is equal to C. So if we just substitute TE, where we have PB, we have that, sorry, we have OS plus TE equals C. But OS plus TE is equal to TS. So we have that TS is equal to C. So there, thus we have drawn a parallelogram on AB. We have removed a parallelogram that is similar to D, and this new, the resulting parallelogram is equal in area to C, which is what we were setting out to achieve.